266. Hello and welcome everyone to Suppercast episode 266, the Transformer Action Figure Podcast Show. Uh, my name is Hex and join with me. Uh got five, so we might have another six, but uh Mike, go ahead and kick it off, man. Hey everyone, you can find me over at the Angry Mike. Everywhere, Angry Mike. And you can find me here on YouTube at Sportimus and on Facebook at Sportimus Prime. And same thing for Twitter and Sportimus underscore prime on Instagram. I'm Rick. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Shatter Glass Jazz. And you can find me on Facebook as Megamus Mega Toy Fan. And you can find me, Jewel Extron, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook page, The Jewel and Extron. So, uh, not going to do a Mount Rushmore this week. Uh, don't have a collection spotlight. Haven't had one in a while. So, if you guys are ever interested or it's been a while since you've sent in your pictures of your collection, want to get them shown on the show, uh, just take however big your collection is or small. Uh, it doesn't matter what the size is. Take as many pictures that is needed for that collection. Put them in an email and send it to me at g1hexatron at gmail.com. And, um, you know, what, what you want to be referred to, you know, whether it's your name or if you got like a screen name or Instagram, whatever, uh, we'll include that as well so people can check you out. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully you start getting some of those in again. Uh, not going to do a Mount Rushmore, but we do have our item of the week. A little, sh- little short in that department. I've just been piling up pile of loot stuff. So... <laughs> Not finding much in the wild. Uh, what you got, Mike? Um, I've been going in the wild, and like some people, but I did pick up all three pieces for uh, a, another reflector, but it's actually scrap face. Um, it took me a little bit to find them all, but not really. But I mean, it's pretty cool. The colors on it are really neat. And um, the actual lens actually goes on it a lot better than the... Um, reflectors did when you put it together it kind of like have a gap when putting the lens up together but this one work is actually perfect so if you get a chance to find that netflix stuff pick it up while you can it's hot yeah i haven't seen it that's only a target exclusive correct walmart 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 yeah, yeah okay i haven't seen it. my walmart doesn't get anything they're still trying to sell off a uh, wave one of the, the latest movie yeah or, or, or star wars the latest movie stuff so yeah and I think I think they just got in Fantastic Four <laughs> Marvel Legends. Like they they are really behind. So, and tell them to slow down. Yeah. Well, I actually found this in the wild. I'm not sure if I'm going to collect them all, but I did find Scrapper, the uh, yeah. Studio Series, and he's been getting a lot of positive uh, feedback from a lot of people who already have him. So, I'm pretty confident that he's pretty good. So. That's my find at Target. Still looking for Sentinel Prime. All right. All right. Um, figure of the week. I'm going to go with Duke from the G.I. Joe uh, declass or the classified line, six inch. Um, out of wave one, I think he's probably my favorite. I think they did a really good job with him. He hits all the key notes that I need to be Duke. I really like the Scarlet more that I, I looked at your photos on yeah. online yeah, on Instagram, me too. and I'm like, man, you know what? <laughs> I'm liking this kind of like not realism, but not like straight up tune, kind of like a nice mix mm-hmm. in between. And I'm like, I, I'm I'm digging it more because of that Scarlet. So that's exactly what I was trying to do with the photos this week. It is somewhere between the two. That's exactly what they're going for. Yeah, yeah so. I like that. So, since I don't buy much, I'm actually going to have two this week. Um, one is one that most people know about with the Walmart discounts. Um, nice little Walmart sound wave. Um, I got mine for like 30 bucks, but they oh. even got them down to like, what, 13 Yeah. Nope. It's ridiculous. Yeah, they, they were all they were all gone, but they had yeah. a dozen Astro trains for forty dollars. Well, well, sure, <laughs> exactly. So, but you know, and and it still kills me. And this has not been opened, but if you look, and it just bugs the crap out of me. Look at Buzzsaw and the tempo 
the sticker is crooked. Uh, they can't even get it right. I mean, look at that. it's it's. You gotta get that all uh, '80s natural going on. I guess I don't know. Just, like, just you, put you, a repo yeah. label <laughs> over it. So. Yeah. Well, he doesn't want to open it though. I think. It's not I, I, I'm not opening that one. I've got yeah, 10, open anyway. 20 of those things anyway. Um, and then my my eBay purchase, um, which I'm very happy, was a unbroken. And it's hard to sell, tell, but this is a pink Transmetal Megatron, unbroken. Nice. And it has been opened. So it's not, I mean, I was shocked. It's, it's, I looked it over, you know, big time with a microscope and everything, no cracks, no nothing. Finding one of these unbroken loose is tough. If well, knows. that's that Beast Wars quality for you. So, yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> all right all right uh the the only thing that i was because i've just been doing a bunch of online shop i mean i'm going out and i'm not finding anything but i did find this on an end cap at target and even though i already have this character it's just i could tell the face was you know that new photo roll technology and that it was an actual better job the loot didn't look that much better than what the one i already had the yoda didn't look that much better and plus i already thought i'm like well what we're going to see a little bit later on, you're going to get that Luke and Yoda combo two pack. So I was like, yeah. I'm going to get my second Yoda right there. Why, why do I need another, you know, just standalone Yoda. That's the exact same outfit. So, all right. Uh, a few people uh, in the chat, action figure expert. He's saying, Hey, what's going on guys? How you doing? And uh, we have, I, I'm always struggling with this. Uh, is it Legion Ardo or is it leg on Ardo? <laughs> so I'm, I'm not really strong on that one. Uh, Randy Books, action figure expert. Oh, and uh, Legionardo says today I got the MP Primal and Cheetor and Machine Robo Loco. Oh, for your birthday! So oh, it's your birthday. Nice. Happy birthday, man! Happy birthday, yeah! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Absolutely. Yeah, whatever. Oh. <laughs> Angry. Angry. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and jump into the screen sharing and uh so this is uh a takara Op optimus prime here got to note the pelvic thrust on the first one of course they're all about that public uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. that's, that's <laughs> everyone you ever see they got at least put that in there once you know what's the difference between this one and the one they already had out, though. That's my question, too. Yeah. Mm. Price? Probably nothing. <laughs> the chest looks different. I don't know. And this is based off of the uh, one we got at Walt or the Studio Series. Oh, wow. Is that uh, a G1 trailer they put it on? It is. Uh, no, they said they. They're is using it for or is that G1? Okay. That that's well, a G one trailer. It even has the, the wonderful yellowing that yeah. <laughs> so. that makes sense. Yeah. Uh there's your there's your packaging. So kind of going to a G one mm -hmm. look packaging. Oh, retro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The hey, old one for the Japanese, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey Dakota wants in. Okay. Oh my gosh. That leave it leave it to Louisiana wine in on Texas again. Yeah. yeah. Hey, right. so <laughs> just join not essential. <laughs> um, is this like a is this a Takara? Yeah, this is a Takara. But Takara other than the uh, uh, other than the packaging, is there anything Ooh. different with the figure, or you just paid for that packaging basically? What what figure is that? Studio Series Prime, I think. Oh the man, they got one. him. I think they all messed up. I think they tweaked the colors a little bit. Like they, they changed the shades of red and blue. A little more uh, anime color, you think? Yeah. I think that's, that's what that, they were they're, going they're very for. bright. Mm -hmm. uh, that could just be the overexposure in the Takara Tomy pictures. Could be. Like they, they typically, I mean, here in the last couple of years, they haven't strayed away from, uh, yeah. ha you know, Hasbro's coloring. No. You think but, it would uh, be toy because the package is toy. Yeah. Yeah. The packaging's cool. I mean, I've seen that. Package in, in the before. in the package, look at the colors. They're much closer to the toy, the original mm -hmm. toy we grew up. Right. With. Mm -hmm. 
That's fair. And I don't have the studio series to really know what those colors look like anyway. I think the studio series one is a little bit darker because I have it. I think yeah. so too. I, I think it's so, darker. Than yeah. This one. Yep. So Dakota, okay. basically you're saying that you don't know what you're talking about. I got it. Uh, correct. Yeah. No, okay. Good enough. Oh, thanks for joining us, Dalton. Yeah, hey, uh, uh, anytime. Yeah. <laughs> glad uh, I could, uh, music lover. Glad I could Would you like my point. notes? All right. Here's, uh, yeah. one, here's one that uh, that I know that Mike is really excited for. You're going to get to see some <laughs> like very detailed images of Double Dealer here. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it can do like the classic Double Dealer. Take a long, hard it? look, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll look at it sitting on the shelf when I walk by. Uh, Legionardo says he thinks it has different uh, paint. I guess he's talking about the different colors, so maybe it's different shades on that Optimus Prime. It, yeah, I mean, it, it could be something as simple, you know, simple as that. Why not? Yeah. I mean, I, I could see, you know, classic, you know, Hasbro car. I could see it just straight up being like one that they had too many of them. Like, hey, these, let's just pull these from the shelf instead of clearing some. Let's just make a new box, shovel them in there and let's resell them and add an extra five, ten dollars. The fans will love it. <laughs> My God, we'll, we'll, we'll tell them we'll that it's up. an exclusive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It looks like a pop. I like the I like Dude, the I'm kinda, paint on the uh, missile here. I'm kind of tempted by Double Dealer. It, it, I like it a lot better than the Astro Train. I'll tell you that. So I just think I think it'll go great with my uh, Titans Return Takara Overlord. So I have one. That's yeah, me too. I, I love those wings. That that purple looks nice. That means I got to get. Uh, not Busta and Hydra, but whatever their U.S. names were. I'm kind of bummed they didn't release that. Takara didn't release those with the red plastic instead of like that, like bluish green. Oh, is it Dreadwind and Dark Darkwing? Red, Dark yeah, yeah. Dreadwind. Uh -huh. yep. Yeah, yeah. See, because in that's when we did a show back there. I know I'm not hardly ever wrong on my predictions, but I was like, I predict that like we'll get a two pack where it'll be Takara, uh, Hydra, and Busta. And they never did. They no. never did it. Yeah. Uh -uh. Bummer. And it's it's sad. Uh, so I may have to just settle with the Hasbro versions. You think that would be a Takartomi Mall type thing? Like, I mean, because they still have the option to do it. You know. I think if it would have, it, like, they would have already. Would've you know what done. I mean? Like, we're getting like Super Megatron now and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I feel like a Busta and Hydra two pack would have would have already been like something. Maybe I mean there may be some room for generation selects. There's still TTGS05, mm -hmm. I think it is, that hasn't hasn't been uh, named yet. So there's a lot of speculation as to what that could be. So mm. man, I, th I, this, I think he, is, he cleans up pretty nice. Look, look yeah. Mike, look, you're a little thick boy right there, man. I think this is fine, man. <laughs> give get, make this a machine more sound wave. I'll buy it again. Mike just has inadequacy issues. Yeah. And again, like I'm looking here. here. Here's the stuff that I like. So I don't see any of that little scuff and battle damage stuff, but I am seeing paint, 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 yeah. paint. Yeah. Like, you know, paint, paint, like, like all over. I'm seeing a lot more paint. And this is exactly like I don't mind paying that extra, you know, that we're having to pay than what we used to, you know, when this was like 15, 20. Fifteen dollar, twenty dollar, twenty five, and now it's thirty. I, I don't mind paying the thirty, and now I don't. I do mind you charging me the extra five to put some like crappy battle damage that I got to take some alcohol to to take off. Though. So like, uh, okay, mm -hmm. so like, have any of the other Earthrise figures had battle damage? Because I haven't. Like, I've I've kind of thought about picking up the Prime, but I haven't. The only oh. one would be Hoist. He just has that little bit of uh, scuffing at the front of the hood. <laughs> Uh, exactly, yeah. Dog so hates it too. Dogs out. I got you. So, so, so the other ones don't have it. Then is no. basically they're all looks clean. Like they're kind of phasing it out. Yeah, like it, that. That looks so bad on Astro Train. <laughs> like he's just got. It looks he's looks like he's just been like walking in knee high swamp water. He just wet himself. That's all. I mean, he just go. He just going to catch them gators. That's I all he's doing. Course. Like he was. Uh, was it? What's his name? Atreyu, a never ending story where he gets in the quicksand. <laughs> he's trying to like walk out of it. Yeah. Poor guy, man. Oh, man. 
Yeah, yeah this is fine. I think I'll, I think I'll cave in, get this while I'm waiting on my masterpiece Tigatrons. Yeah, I mean, I, again, like I showed you on the weapon, and then again, wow. more paint, you know, more paint, paint. I mean, yep. yeah, I'm definitely picking it up. It's not a bad piece. I like the playability here where the those little pieces fold back, like this little mm -hmm. stabilizers. Yep. I think that's right. neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, I, I, but you know, I gotta play devil's advocate here. There is a negative here, guys. Yeah, Rick, the whole thing. Rick, you see what I'm talking about right here? The yeah, no painted rims, man. Like, <laughs> yeah. yo, yo. It man. also, it also can't do the classic, uh, you know, double dealer wiener bird. Well, Actually, it can. It can. It can? There is a mm -hmm. video Perfect. of Mike, Prom versus Mike, Prom. For Sold. someone that, that like has been talking trash about this toy, you're the only Definitely. one that knows about that. Like, <laughs> well, that seems course. like something you like Google. Search. Definitely going to get it. Definitely going to get it. Go to uh, go to Prom versus Prom a review of Scorpionox. He actually shows you uh, Scorpionox. 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 <laughs> God, aggravates me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aggravates me every time. Trust me, it, it, he shows how it does actually peg in there. It's a lo it's a loosey goosey one, but I mean it's it's all. It can still. So you're so you're saying it's a floppy? It's a floppy. That's right. Hey. Hey. I, I, I can just imagine like what like if your wife like just started looking through your like Google search history and like <laughs> how to give double dealer a wiener. What does that even mean? <laughs> Why are these words together like this in this search history? Well, well, like I think well, your maybe, transformer I mean, right. uh, fandom has gone a little too far there. <laughs> I've been I've been quarantined too long. That's the problem. Let me explain why. <laughs> Bored. <laughs> it, All right. It, it was Dakota. Yeah. Yes. So so these we're we're basically just getting the Takara colors, which are just a little bit darker. Is that correct? Um. It look. I think the the little symbol in the chest too. Uh, yeah. It's actually, like what? What do they call it? Like it's supposed to be like their rub sign, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're getting that with the yellow there. Um, I can't look at my mind's all still. It's more G1. Up. That's what G one is. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, now, I know that's the, neat. the purple's different because it's more pink on the Hasbro version. Shout out to everybody that paid so much to complete these two. Like bought a box that they didn't want, and then had to go buy another two pack from Walgreens if they could find it. Well, uh, this here works out for me because I'm going to pick up the two pack because I only have one of them. I, I guess know. I guess they're going to do the the Autobot clones too. I don't want those. one can assume. Oh, probably. Sorry, this, this is how it should have came originally, anyway. To begin yep. with, yeah. Right. This, this would be like parting out reflector, and like 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 part of reflector goes with hoist, and another part with grapple. It's like, what are you doing here? Well, they still separated reflector and like where you had to buy it three times over. Which right. I guess when they came through to a case, it's still not hateful, but uh, I don't know. I like the way Takara did it. Like they packed, they packaged one of the Decepticons with one of the Autobots, and just kind of like, okay, so you, you still bought the two pack and you got both of them. You know, it's kind of like a Hasbro's kind of like. So guys, what do you think? How how can how can we get more money out of these guys? Oh, hey, let's repackage this. Tell Dude, money it, it, this I, I've got I've got the best Hasbro one. It would be Hasbro giving you dive bomb, blot, uh, mix master, oh, <laughs> no. mixing completely up where you have to buy a, a five pack of combiner, but they're all different combiner parts, and then you have to buy another five pack. That way, they make you buy all their combiners. And then here's an Alpha Bravo. Yeah. <laughs> and the Random. funny thing is, when it comes time to tell the story at whatever convention, they're like, we found a way to do it, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we did this for you, the fans. Yeah. Uh, look, look, looking at our uh, secret two-pack, I was looking for this today. I couldn't find it. Uh, uh, is that out now? Hope, no. Oh. no. I hope this means the, uh, the old deluxe seekers are about to drop in price, because I, I really want to get the uh the classic sky warp and and star scream to go with my games of deception set but now you know like i can get them for like 10 bucks a piece that'd be sweet they um again uh, bright bright colors and no uh battle damage yeah the uh this has only been spotted on ebay as the taiwan seller um he yeah. was asking like a hundred and 
109 maybe for it. <laughs> no, man. They'll they'll be in store soon enough. Yeah, I just got to find that DCPI number and start hounding them target employees over that essential transformer stuff. I, Mike I is the ultimate still, Karen. I, I, I still have <laughs> Dakota. <laughs> Dakota. Uh, that that extra. was in my brain and you picked it right out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, excuse me. Can you scan this for me? Tell me. I'm going to get Mike one of them Karen wigs <laughs> so he can wear it when he goes Transformer shopping. <laughs> Where's your manager? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh man, it's it's gonna be so. I, I haven't looked at all these pictures. Is he not going to have the little hooks and stuff? No, um, no. no. Oh no. man, they should have done something here to add some orange somewhere, just to kind of. You know, DNA design will make one. That'll fix to say someone's going to design one with yeah. a gun and everything, mm -hmm. the satellite dishes and all that. Man, Zarek looks dope. Man, a, dude, we tell you what, easy, easy, easy buy. Watch that. If y'all get a chance, watch that video from Proverbs Prime. There's some cool stuff of that figure that no one even knew about. Wait, nice. you, you making commission off this video? This is yeah. the time you No, it. I mean, that's the only guy out there who has it <laughs> that talks good English. I, uh, I'm gonna, Ooh. Jesus, Karen. Um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm still gonna hold out and hope that they do Black Zarek and, uh, I, I'd like Get to like Eric way. as well. I think well, that's I, yeah. I, I'd buy both. This would be one where I didn't I didn't buy the the Grand Max, which I, I really kind of wish I had. But yeah, uh, same but here. I, like, I will buy Scorpion Op in uh, Black Zarek. I still might buy the yeah. Grand Max. I think it's still like two sixty most places. So Toy Dojo has it still in stock. I missed. Yeah, yeah I feel Max. like that's a, if they don't do that, that's a missed opportunity. A big missed opportunity. We've talked about that before. Yeah. Why they they, they, they will. Watch yeah. it be a Sandy. Dude, I bet it's going to be a Selects. I bet it's going to be a Selects release. It, 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 it's going to happen. I don't be. know if it'll be a, a show exclusive because what's going on and everything, or if they'll just yeah. do, a, like you said, a Selects. But or, it, it'll come out. It will be all these special. <laughs> Dude, give it the Trident. That would be so cool. You got it. You got to do that. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. Scorpion actually has a head that's proportioned to his body. Yep. Yay. Looks so good. His yeah, base mode always looked really awesome. But the Scorpionock mode is amazing looking once it's in that. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's it's good. It's really good. I mean, I really think this is the best. Well, time I mean, they, even, even back them. in G1, I always liked Scorpionock more than Fort Max just just because of the uh, the play value. Even though he was smaller, and I always said that you know he should yeah. be the same size, whatever. But um, so especially that fun. that is awesome. Look at, look at those cannons; it's They're so much fun. Yeah, amazing. yeah, it's it's just great, great. Yeah. Does he only come with a pair of cannons instead of yes, four? just those yeah. two cannons? All he comes two. with. So they've taken some stuff away from us. And then on the shield on his leg. On both sides, those come together to make the big shield that goes on. They don't stay on his legs in robot mode, which I thought was weird. That's I'm okay with some yeah, parts for I mean, I'm yeah. all, I'm all yeah, good I, with parts I, I get that. They're, they're trying to make more play, value, transformation, whatever. That's fine. But overall, I mean, look at it. They even covered up the face. I mean, I dig it. This is an easy, easy buy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got two of them on order. Well, and I, you know, and I made that comment on the in the group. So who's to say this isn't going to come out in Walmart or another retail? No, it won't. Walmart. It's, it's, they're not going to get the shelf space anymore. No. They just won't commit to that. You don't think so? No, they're, they're, no, they're not. I, and I they think, reduced. I, I think that's. I think that's something that was said. I think I've heard that publicly as far as as far back as what was like Omega Supreme. Mm -hmm. I think I heard that then too, and I think it You're came right. up during. I think it came up during when they started HasLab. I think someone talked about shelf space mm -hmm. for the bigger items, and the stores just don't want to do it. Yeah. So these well, will be uh, retail online stores only. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think uh, Pulse is already sold out of it. Yeah. Uh, BBTS still has it in stock for pre-order. A, a few, yeah. I'm yeah, sure. I'm sure Amazon. Like the the thing with the Titans, man, is like there's that first initial like momentum of of 
boom, everyone gets it. Like Pulse is always going to like pre-order sell out, it seems. Mm-hmm. But uh, like I, I still think that like with the other Titans, like there's a lot of cheapos like me that would just like hang on a minute, hang on a Wait, minute, and then jump. What's the stores oh, that Mike? Right. You've gone to the stores before. What's the stores that you guys have? We don't have like later, like six months from now they'll get it, and you'll go and get like eight of them. What are the you got? All these, but yeah, like, didn't that, like didn't that we don't have those happen? here. Yeah, same here. They, they did that with Trypticon, and we're talking and Fort Max 30, mm-hmm. 40 bucks. I mean, didn't yeah. they do that with Predaking too? No, no. I, I didn't the one that I on was uh, Trypticon. Trypticon. Um, yeah. yeah, which by the way, I have those for sale. I'm just saying. So, um, but mm-hmm. but the other ones I didn't. But my understanding was is as far back as Metroplex, they were reduced. Ross Either at Toys R Us or other yeah. retail stores. That's what uh, worried me. Sam's Club had Metroplex for fifty dollars, and I walked by a pallet of them. <laughs> oh no. And that's the one I need now. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. like fifty dollars. I was like, it's I'll still- wait till it's thirty. You know, <laughs> or like I don't need it. Like, <laughs> but we're sure, we're sure this one is not going to go to retail. I'm pretty sure. I don't like brick and mortar. Yeah, yeah I doubt yeah. it. I, I definitely doubt it. I'm looking at Big Bang Toys right now. It's 160 bucks. Um, I could see uh, at, at your neighborhood store being 120, 125. Whatever, so it. Mm, I, I think uh, when it comes down to shelf or, space, it's just it's like Rick a, said. They're not gonna. They're not gonna uh, put the shelf space towards it. I, I think look at everything else. Look how bad Trypticon, even Metroplex, went for in reduced pricing. It's ridiculous. Do we want to jump on this now or wait and see what happens? I think this is going to be a jump on this now. Think about it this way: Have you ever seen Omega Supreme and Ollie's? You're right. No, I haven't. Many, but then there was that there was that the Hasbro Pulse cards? warehouse clearance sale oh, that you know sure. they were oh, dumping no, those twenty dollar no. Omega Supremes. You Thank know? you. Like, hey, just thank take you. a yeah. take a take a small like road trip to Pennsylvania in the fall yeah. time of next year. No, like, how many jet fires did you guys see on the shelf? Like I only I, I don't think I ever saw one. If I saw one, it was one here. Did yeah, you guys see a ton of the jet fires? Well, that's well, small. Start on that because just one it's spiked, and if you look now, you can get them much much cheaper. So uh, yeah. that's, that's apples and oranges right now because that's something that actually dipped in value. I don't. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Just for our shelf space conversation, I, that's I, all I was bringing up. I, I get it, I, but, but I, I, also, I paid a, I paid ninety dollars for a jet fire. And right <sighs> now, I can get one for fifty, sixty bucks all day long on eBay. Hey, uh, Ray, Randy, uh, so you have a Metroplex you don't want? I, I've already got a Fort Max. Uh, I've got the Takara Fort Max, but I do need a Metroplex. So uh, if you want to message – well, I don't know if you can message directly on YouTube anymore. But uh, if you want to message me on either my Facebook page or Twitter or Instagram, they're all G1Hextron. Or you can even send me an email. Uh, then we, we can work something out probably. Uh, but who, hey, who which Fort are, Max is it? Someone seems desperate. Oh, and uh, Dakota wants to know which Fort Max, so he might be interested in that. So you might be able to sell them both. Uh, but all right, this, this, uh, Sportimus, this is your time to shine. This is my boy. Yeah, I wish he was yellow, but I still love him. They already made the yellow one. What? Not, not the toy version. Oh my! Lord. Oh come on! <laughs> he's got <laughs> he's got the details. Man, you about to have card. me start swearing up a storm on this he's show, a, sport? No, no, my no. goodness! He's, he's got the, no, listen. You got he's a got second the, one of those shirts? Uh, he's Dakota. got the 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 detailed shins. He's got the gray windows, the gray tint windows. He's got that missile. You trying to he's make the that head. demonetize my 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 video? <laughs> yeah, I got that. I got that missile, and I got that head too, sports. So I uh, cannot believe. Open. I got to go with Dakota on this one. But uh, I'm still getting I'm this. Wa- I'm still loving this. I actually, so I happy. want the yellow toy version the most because be, <laughs> because he's got the red accents and then he's he's, he's got the missiles and they, exactly. they replace the fist. Darn right. And you you take the fist off and it's a chrome <laughs> missile on the hand and and, and actually it's, it's it's because because it's a it's a toy version. To call, yeah, Man, this is called, beautiful. It's called accuracy. Okay. Okay, so this is be- this oh, is beautiful. Is beautiful. Red I'm not, I'm not taking anything away from this. I love it. I'm getting it. 
It's fantastic. <laughs> it should be its own number. And it I'm, should not be a plus. I'm not, I'm it? not taking it? anything away from this. His first words were, I like it. I just don't like the color. No, I just wish it was yellow. I didn't say they like the color. I said I wish it was yellow. But as it is, oh, wow. I like it. I'm getting it. I might even get two. Totally I'm oh, tempted dude. considering like I had I had somebody tell me like this was basically like the first transformer, right? Or the first yeah, diaclone or whatever. It was. And I'm tempted that... for just just out of, you know, like uh the like I don't know, not nostalgia, but um same reason I, I picked up those uh G two C W uh sets. Well, the thing is, dude, like the, the fringes that, of it. I heard that originally G one Sunstreaker was supposed to be the red one. There was a mix up or something. It turned out to be yellow. So well, yeah, that's like why we got like tiger tracks. And, it, yeah, and I feel this one. This one offends me. Like I think it, we're at that limit where you know I get the homages and the diaclone stuff. This one offends me because we've yet to get jazz. They haven't made good on Josh's uh, Galvatron prediction. They're, <laughs> they're, it's just a cash grab. Exactly. And the thing is, the, did, the you, completed, did you say cash the grab? That com- the people that are completing this, this line, that's that's who keeps this this stuff going. If we just said no to some of it, we might start getting more characters in a year. I said no. Only have I don't even know how many, how many masterpieces do I have now. One two. One, two, three. Well, I've got I've got some that I still need to sell that are in boxes. <laughs> I don't know which one I like most between this or Police Sunstreaker. Like I think both of those were yeah. are like iconic as far as like you think Diaclone homages. Yeah, I mean, this is what I think. I think the I like the white one. Well, of course, if I had to choose, it's so much. And easier. even that, I didn't need it. I was racist. Fine. Yeah, no. Jeez, I, think <laughs> <the white laughs> one. I want to say it's not needed, just like all the other. Diaclone repaints we got. It's not yeah, new. like and we've been yeah. buying them for years, and we still but haven't gotten we still haven't gotten care like G one characters from the season one. Correct. I think we, the diaclone repaints are neater that. than the G one releases. But you know, <laughs> we're not gonna get that when it's a simple repaint to make money. Yeah. Period. Done. Well, well, then at that point too. I, why haven't you got a slicer yet from the Will Jack mold? Or well, they're not going that far. Well, it was an action they're master, a, a very yeah. simple. Recall. But it, but but it's a, again, not. it's an easy cash grab, and then you Dalton exactly. he'd buy it. Dalton would I buy think it, it, and, and you can't look at it and be like, "Hey, those are that's an awesome combination of colors." You know, I think it was. Uh, I think it was easier for them to do exhaust. Like exhaust was the the bigger cash grab, in my opinion. It, it was, but it actually cost more money in the long run. Yeah. They were, they were, they were, but as far as like what Dakota and those smokers, there's a, there's a, <laughs> but like there's, there's like there's, there's, there's something about like the original Marlboro and the red sun sugar and the police stuff that like it's visually appealing to look yeah. at and to see. But I would never, even if I had the money, drop that kind on the originals. But like seeing them in masterpiece form, that I think is, I, th- I think that's cooler Wait, than seeing the G1 it, characters. It, 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 Me too. Eclectic group. A very small group of people that know what this is, yeah. right? And if that's why it's a for, that's why it's a plus. That's why it's it's a Cartomi Mall exclusive, and exactly. it isn't going out to all the Japanese retailers. Yeah. Yeah. You limit your expectations of of selling it. I get that. When they do it, I wish if I would be more okay with it if they put a number on them and put a d- addition number on them. If like they Cornette numbered them and, and just out of the gate, just let people know yeah. how many they were making. I'd be okay with it, and I think it fits into that little realm that you guys are talking about. But they yes. don't do that. They don't I, do I that. But they they should. I agree, uh, who's I agree with that. With, too. Uh, what Dalton's buying? Uh, I know that uh, Cameron he messaged me said he was going to be on today, uh, but uh, he said that he is definitely picking this up. So me too. Now, that don't surprise me. Yeah, we'll see you later. He says a lot. But- hey, the Duke. What's up, man? Uh, he says, uh, take down the price and just release the entire rainbow of colors and be done with it. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 it is a Countach, so, you know. Hey, you can put whatever color they want, I'll buy it. Yeah, I will All right, that up. getting into some <laughs> third-party uh, Master Maid, man. I haven't seen anything from them for a while. It's been a hot minute. Yeah. Trash. Dude, I, I, I like their little thing. Now, these things are expensive. They are highly detailed. You can see they, you know, 
spare no expense with all the little decals and stuff that they put over it and all the little extra paint and stuff. Nice. Super deformed. Until you see the price tag. Bam. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, whatever. Like, if you just had to, if I told you, take a guess at how expensive this is. And you, right. like, even went something crazy. And then I would have to tell you, now double it. Yeah, well, double I mean, it. I, guess, I, guess, I have not looked at this. I haven't looked. I swear. I haven't looked at any of this. And I'm going to say, um, one. Twenty double it. Or ninety-nine. <laughs> double it. <laughs> as soon as you said one, double it. God. Even what? even then, maybe triple it. Ridiculous. God. <laughs> doubling it would be twenty-five bucks would be like I was stretching no. at that point. Doubling point. it I, would I, still be a very conservative guess. I was like, I was looking at the Scorponok. How much is the Scorponok one? Oh um, God, my. it was like three or four hundred bucks. It, it, right now it's at uh, uh, you're talking about for the uh the Earthwise uh, Titan? No, no man. Cool. The Master Maid. Oh, the little small one. Um, yeah, I don't know. Dalton says 450. How big yeah. are these? How tall is this? Yeah. I, like, I, uh, I, I, I think they're, they're, like, why they're pretty why chonky. Why they're would pretty you chonky. Like it? Oh, there's the, the Overlord. Uh, so let's see. Let's go. Who would have this? TF Source, maybe? Yeah, they always got the Overpost. Yeah, they got the crap. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, it, good it, for it, it's been out for a couple uh, months, so it's probably under vintage collection. So, <laughs> just, sure. just look up um, overpriced look up. garbage. And oh, here, here, so it's two forty for this. Oh, one. yeah. So doubled it. Yeah. yeah. I would. There you go. Yeah. The the Scorponok was originally two hundred. The Overlord was one sixty. Uh, the uh, uh, Fort Max was one ninety, so it's one seventy. Uh, but still, one. But but I'm saying he, he's what? on like a little sell. He was two hundred. Uh, so this guy's two forty. But once again, why? Why would you pay that? <laughs> oh, well, cause spoilers! Because he, he looks. Yeah, I don't he, know. Uh, Legionnaire Lardo says they are Voyager size. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Get yeah, a pop man. cheaper than that. You can oh, hush. shut up. But, <laughs> but look at all the little decals you get, man. Uh, I'll respond to some for you. I got you decals. There you go. There you go. Me meanwhile, My what, is it, what is it? Fifty years later, Mike and uh Meg are like sitting outside. They're always they're like, one day it'll be down to 30, guys, and we're gonna <laughs> jump on it. <laughs> it's apples well, and I'm, oranges. I'm okay with that. <laughs> 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 They're rocking chairs. Yeah. <laughs> hey, knock it off. All right. Newage Toys. This is a masterpiece scaled. Uh, Soundwave. Yeah, I forgot his name. Took you a minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was like, I, it's, it, I, I, like, I knew who it was supposed to be, and I'm looking at his little pets, but still, I look at it, and I'm like, nothing about this resembles what Soundwave actually looks like. Looks so. just like him. Yeah. It took me a minute too. I had to look at the the laser beak and the ravage to be like, oh, it's sound wave. I mean, th well, that's I think uh, I, I don't want to get too far into this, uh, but I think like something me and Rick talked about. I think last show is like you need to be able to look at something and be like that. This is that. Yeah, uh, this where, this could either be sound wave, at... jazz, or sideswipe. Take your pick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just that's the thing is whenever I look at the studio series stuff, like if you didn't tell me the names or give me any little hints, like with his little minions and stuff, and been like, "What character is this?" If I can't immediately tell you, then you've done a bad job. Is it Megatron? No. Is is it uh is it Blackout? No. Uh, is it Soundwave? There you go. Like. They all kind of, kind of just look like the same. Uh, Rick, what, which, what was it we were talking about? To where it was like, you know, I need to be able to look at it until it was, Star, what, we were talking about that Starscream masterpiece that was just uh, pictures from the last show. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, that's where the conversation started. Yeah, because like I would look at this, and like if I didn't know, like someone had never even heard of them, you know. 
they they've been in a coma since G1 and they woke up and they've done know anything about this Bayverse <laughs> stuff and like what care they they made them uh you know live action movie what character is this you just look at the colors and I don't know what the faces is be like uh Megatron you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah why is Megatron turn into or a Mercedes? Jazz. Or Jazz, <laughs> one of the two. Yeah, that would probably be the first question. Is why, why is he a Mercedes? <laughs> Did Mercedes buy out Walter or something? Like, what, what happened here? <laughs> uh, but but what, what do you think about this? I mean, you got the, what is it, chrome rims and... Uh, I mean, the you know looks like nice paint throughout here, and the movable I doors for the movie MP crowd. Like this is this is a solid pickup. Like it's it's just another yeah. one, like right in line, you know. And I like Oof, I think that eye. the movie masterpiece line is uh, yeah, all these gray and silver boys. God, I think the movie dude. masterpiece line is is really good for those uh, for those fans that are that are fans of the movie. Like I don't think yeah. you can go wrong with that. Right. Yeah. I think the star screen coming out from Hasbro is neat. Um, but yeah, this is this is cool. This is definitely cool. Yeah, I mean it's we make fun of it for being the movie aesthetic, but like it's just another one of those things. It's not a big I, cast to flesh out, so Yeah, I I, 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 yeah. I do like the person that took the pictures here with the Little, little humor with the the nice kitty and stuff. Yeah. Oh, uh, Mike, man, I almost grabbed the picture. Mike, I was sitting on the my patio, mm-hmm. and uh, my cat was sitting in the chair at the edge of the table with its head <laughs> just <laughs> like. <right here. laughs> I was like, "Oh, let me grab this picture," and then as soon as I pulled up the camera, she was like, "All right, I'm out of here." I so, got one. Hey. Hey, Josh, rem- remind me after the show. I've got one. I forgot all about it. I took it. I think Erica posted it. Maybe she posted it, but I never, I was supposed to send it to you guys and Mike forgot to. Oh, hey, yeah. Your, your best friend, your best kitty friend. I heard all about that. All right. Adora. Chain toys. Chain toys. <laughs> you ready for this? Mm, sure am. Kang. It's Kang toys. <laughs> Kang, what? <laughs> what you, it's not P.F. Chang's. It's Kang Toys. <laughs> oh, I, I added a H in there. <laughs> Chang <laughs> Toys. P.F. Chang Toys. Chang, Kang, <laughs> same difference. Yeah. <laughs> you get a you get to order orange chicken with each purchase. Yeah. I will take uh, uh, delivery, please. God, dude, I can't wait till this lockdown ends so I can go back to a freaking oh. Chinese buffet. <laughs> oh, that's the first thing that you think of whenever you're like lock, lockdown's over. Oh, I want to get into the buffet where we can just all put like our hands in the same trough. Yeah, like, dude. Before like, before they even locked it down, like whenever it was still serious, it was it was the Monday or excuse me, it was the Friday. It was so it was what would have been like March 13th or whatever before they closed it down. Like I went to my favorite Chinese buffet. I was like, I don't care about none of this. Like. <laughs> Couple oh, this like double. bro. Yeah. They uh they they, they have a uh, bocce at that buffet too. But yeah, bro, I was eating sushi. Like I was eating buffet sushi. Let's there you be go. Real. Ooh, you eat That's buffet I want. sushi. I want, I, want, I want me some sushi. No takeout. You know, delivery sushi. Some real sushi. That's what I want. Oh my god! Do you buy yeah. gas station we and Brookshire's so- sushi as well? <laughs> no, no. That stuff. That stuff's a different kind of nasty. But no, this right. particular this particular uh, place. I mean, it's it's good. Like. It's a hot dollar buffet, um, and like the sushi was good. It's it's not it's not like going to the sushi restaurant down you know down the road from it and getting like actual fresh, you know, good stuff. But bro, like I can't wait! I can't wait to go back to that place. Like that's what, I want. That's, that's what I'm waiting for. Well, well, well speak, speaking of sushi, what what do you think about this this figure here? So, uh, what scale? I wonder what scale they're doing these in because yeah. I'm actually interested in picking up just their dive bomb. MP, I think. Uh, he's not gonna fit then. Never mind. Trash. Uh, Go back to jail, Toy World. This is hey, uh, action figure. That's that's how you know that it's got to be garbage sushi because 
because uh, <laughs> he's talking about getting sushi at, at a Chinese restaurant. There's no such thing as a high end buffet. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, All say right. what you will. Here's something for Dalton. We got new edge toys again. Look at all that translucent. Beautiful, huh? Break it. Some break it. Dude, Sometimes these, you just want <laughs> look like little Jolly Ranchers. It's Jolly Rancher City. Yes. Sometimes you just want imitation crab wrapped up in rice. <laughs> and like Ew. that's just what you gotta go for. It. This is or, silly. Or, or they, they have they pizza it? at a Chinese buffet. Bro, the little the little bitty mini pizzas? Yeah. yeah. Those things are fire, man. It's like the the uh the public school pizzas we used to eat. Oh, like, I never I never oh. ate those. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Love public school strip. pizza. Me too. Yep. I'm sorry, rectangle. Remember remember when they they made like little chicken wing <laughs> drumsticks but it didn't have no bones in it? It was yeah. just the shape of it. Mm, bro, I, I love public school the, I remember the pizzas with the little pepperoni chunks. Yeah. Like yeah. Chunks, mm -hmm. You know, like speckled on there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> what, what, why don't you give him my uh, licorice? Jolly bro, Josh, is, guy. Josh, Josh is the new Karen. <laughs> <laughs> school launches girls. <laughs> yeah. That, that oh, look at look at this. The uh, root beer. Yeah. Um, oh, root beer. Okay. Candy. Little root beer candies. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. yeah. one. I thought those were gross too. No, God, what's good. wrong with those you? Those were good, man. No, I don't like them, man. You got a bland palate, son. You got a very bland dude, palate. <laughs> dude, when I went grocery shopping today, dude, I bought crab legs. I'm fixing salmon tomorrow. I got stuff for my <laughs> enchiladas to make, dude. I, I've been cooking it up. Got some ribeyes. Don't, don't put don't put too much salt and pepper on it. I know your bland palate couldn't take much more. Yeah. Yeah, there's no hot sauce in his house. Oh, dude, dude, I'm in Texas. We have like a full shelf full of just hot sauce. Yeah. Mild. They like to think they like to think it's hot Mild. sauce, but <laughs> you get to, you get the real hot sauce down here in Cajun country. Uh, Generation toy. <laughs> Ugh, this thing again. We could have passed. <laughs> what? So this, is a, this is a great, great video. White ape. We just did this three days ago. God, <laughs> that's funny. Half of us here did this three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? This, this is uh, awesome. we covered it on on the Beast Force podcast. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is this is an adorable try. I hope it does well for them. It's not for me. Why? I think I think they missed the marks. I think they missed the marks on on it being on oh. it being. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Real quick, he's I'm got a little gonna... flap to cover up his his stuff, yeah, yeah. and then he can I raise it this. if he's got to use the bathroom. The bathroom. This is a perfect time. Yeah. Is oh, that what a pee flap why? is? Yeah, that's is that his the, little. That's that's like his little flap. fly. Like he's got like a hinge and it flips up. That's like his he hand cloth. That's where he, he keeps his little bananas down there. <laughs> like the, his, his big banana, yeah. If you open it up, his little banana. My mom calls it a fire man. Don't don't pull don't pull on the wrong banana. Either way, I my, like it. My mom says it's called a fire man. Now, you rub his little helmet, like he spits in your eye. I'd like to point out the irony that this was clearly made for Beast Wars fans. And the Beast Force fans are like rejecting no, it. Yeah, not. that's the that's the it. thing. That's the thing. Like it's it really isn't. These are based off of those T Beast designs, which I've heard a lot more G One fans be like, you know what? If the animals were robotic, we would like them more. And so T Beast <laughs> was designed to do just that: make robotic animals that turn into robotic robots. Uh, <laughs> that said, this is supposed to be the Ultra Magnus T Beast design. Yeah, and it. It just misses the marks that it needs to make to be Ultra Magnus. Like, uh, it looks well, like it's it's a weird Magnus. It's a weird in between. Oh, armor. you're such a nerd. It's it's a weird in between <laughs> of like Nova Prime and Ultra what Magnus. If you like, put it's the Ultra Armor on him with the red and blue. <laughs> Be because you whenever you add the blue Ultra and the red Magnus. with the with the Magnus, and that's his trailer. But but monkeys can't have trailers, so it's probably going to be like a tree. <laughs> it's going to be a blue and, and red tree. You can plug in the and, Matrix of leadership. And, and, and the tree the tree turns into the armor with the smokestacks. 
So, um, anyways, it looks more like Nova Prime than it does Ultra Magnus, but either way, it's a it's a pass. These are just they're masterpiece. They're big scaled, and I don't know. Maybe maybe if uh, maybe Nobody if like Iron Factory did that design, I would be I would like uh, that more than Iron Factory's actual designs. I like this one. All right, so going on to so Devil say that Savior Savior yeah. Devil Savior. Yes. There In Texas, was... we don't do care much for read. <laughs> <laughs> if it's more than two syllables, forget it. <laughs> Sorry. They, they, oh, it says gat. I'm like, they actually put cat on there? They're gonna get <laughs> it <up>. says gat. <laughs> Gator <laughs> needs his gat. <laughs> I thought it said uh, cat on there. I'm like, man, you, you, if Hasbro's not going to come after you, then you're going to have some uh, tractor company come after you. <laughs> the, the, the cat company. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is a company making uh masterpiece <laughs> movie devastator this is yeah. the one with the balls isn't it yep that's i the think one. so yeah yeah, yeah man. man i wish i wish at the end of the year they had to put out like uh like an image of their product and then how many units were sold i would like do almost anything to have that and do like a year-end roundup show where we looked at it just I'm look at so the actual interested. numbers I really yeah. want to know, man. I say that like every year. I'm thinking that. I just want to know how many they made and how many were bought. I want to like. I okay, want that so for all third parties. I, I would like me that. I, I would like to know. I that. want it more. The older I get, the more I want that. The stats. I really do. So it, like, what what's going on? With I know. This dude? I know. I know. Uh, you know, Hasbro. <laughs> they're making their Studio Series Devastator and all that, right? Like. I want DNA Designs to make that that ball sack kit, and I want to know how many of those Jeez. sell. I want to know how many people just buy the balls. Like if they sold five hundred Devastators, but there's eight thousand of the ball set sold, I want to know what's <laughs> going on. Bro, could you see like Studio Series Devastators price just like th- multiplies by three, dude? <laughs> because, <laughs> because that's only because you're gonna have people like Dakota, like when he gets his car, he's gonna have them hanging like fuzzy dice from his rearview mirror, <laughs> just yeah. the Devastator balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put some put some underglows on the on the balls. So wh- which one is this? I don't remember. I don't remember this guy. I think he was one of the like torso components. Yeah, Hasbro's doing one make, too. I think they're just making. Yeah, the lower torso. Yeah, Hasbro has that too in their studio series. But I I don't remember seeing one that had this long trailer like this. There never was one. They made it up. Yeah, I like how they call him Troublemaker. I bet the balls are in him. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the balls. <laughs> uh, Dalton says he never made it to the movie. Oh, <laughs> like his only job is to carry the ball. <laughs> <laughs> He's the most important constructicon. Yeah. <laughs> like they keep him safe at all times. <laughs> he, he hits a speed bump, and all the other constructicons <laughs> double over in pain. Like, right, so you got the nuts. <laughs> you get the combaticons that you get from every other company. Uh, so Zeta Toys, you're like, okay, we've already got one from you. Well, they are doing a metallic version now. Oh god! Uh, oh come on, Zeta, you better than that. Cause... We're doing the toy world thing, yeah. So like mul- multiple versions of the same thing. Again, I want s- statistics. I want to know. How many you sold of the last one? I want to know how many of this actually sells, how many were made. I, I'd like to know information like that. Yes. Was there Rick got everyone profit? wanting to wanting to want the numbers what, game? Was there was there a profit on the product? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, another another stat is how many you made, how many they sold, but when you sold them, you sold them to BBTS and TF Source and all these other companies. How many did they actually sell? <laughs> yeah. Because like, hey, that's fine if you made 500 units and sold 500 units. But if then the online retailers were like, yeah, we only sold like 80, you know, yeah. then it's like, okay, then uh, that was a bad eye, you know, a bad buy. 
Josh Wolf joins us. He says, yeah, he wants to see the numbers too, man. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Release the like numbers, BBC, numbers gate. You would think like TF Source or, or you know, BBTS, one of them is factoring it into the price because they know like come December, they're going to put that big old clearance banner up and you know be unloading them. So they got to be thinking about that when everything's getting priced. I, I think. think whenever they do the clearance, the clearance price, that's the price they yes, paid for it. Me too. That's my guess too. So a lot of times we're looking at it and we're like, dang, man, this sucker's on yeah. sale. Nope, that's what they paid for it. Like that big jump up, like that yeah. was the markup on it. I, I would even say that they probably still have a 10% profit on that. Yep. You know, yeah. probably right. Even at that. Yep. They're not, they're not in it to lose at all. Yeah. It was different when no one was making them, you know, back during the add-on days, the first two or three years of this stuff. Right. But now, you know. Oh what my goodness! Going on, yeah! Wow! All right, what's up, Kurt Fury? Uh, Transforming rollout. Oh, hey, Mike! Didn't we just get this in uh, Siege? Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I still need to pick. I still need to pick the Siege one up, man. Like I Dalton. still, I still haven't seen it at that price I want it for. Like next to nothing. Very cheap. Mm -hmm. It's all right. I mean, it's okay, but man, yeah. the original is just so much way better. better. Yeah, I pay I pay twenty five ship for the siege one. Anyone, anybody that got it, anyone that has a regret <laughs> purchase, want to get half their money back. Hey. I'm your boy. Hey, you you don't you don't like this one? Uh, yeah, Dalton. I saw him on Twitter saying he's excited for this. Oh one. yeah, he's this is Dude, G one. Cybertron Prime no, was the it, coolest. It is not his G one. <laughs> There's only one G one. Beast Wars is my G one. So. I do. So like I this think design, I always, though. yeah, I always thought Cybertron Prime was the coolest of the three Unicron trilogy primes. Armada oh, yeah. Prime was definitely a second, uh, you know, close second. But Energon Prime oh, was yeah. just. Hey, dumb. hey, don't don't fat shame Energon Prime. I'm man, yeah, I'm fat shaming Energon Prime. <laughs> I don't need a prime that looks like me. You know what I mean? Hey, you know the proportions. I need a prime that I can aspire good, to. Though. The proportions yeah. look good. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. This, this one was the best. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And the head, the head sculpts on this look really good. Really mm -hmm. nice. I like to see they're doing something not G one too, man. Like third party companies are finally getting out of that comfort zone, and I think that's uh, I think that's a bold step. There's only so many times you can make Bruticus, though. So that's true. So, Dakota, do you think they did the two faces on that because of Primal? No, it's because he he had the two faces in the show. Yeah. Uh, oh. this is MS uh, Toys right here. <laughs> A little oh. bitty cone heads. Back, back to safe and sound, are we? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I, I forget if we've looked at these before. I don't recall seeing you know, what size. It, it's, it's hard to tell because just, uh, yeah, six well, of little, the companies have done them. Look, yeah, little sort of little like guys. The, these are legends. Yeah. 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 New Age has the best. I would assume they're going to come with the gun pods. They're just not showing them for whatever reason. Because you have to have the gun pods, of course. Sure. Well, you got that thrust looks wings like that. Weird. Yeah. Look yeah, at my wing. Take a flip around. I would almost rather have. The pods on the ankles, then the back on that one. Mm -hmm. Kind of like this one. This this one a little better. Who's making these? MS Toys. Magic Square, yeah. I, Go with the new age. They're they're made better. They're these these aren't they're not bad. Sport, yeah, how do you like know? Do you have these? Do you have no, these? No, I've seen. Is that I've, another review? That, I've seen um, reviews from others. Seen. Sport, how many? How many? Uh, <laughs> how much money were you paid to uh, shill for New Age tonight? <laughs> None. <laughs> so, so as far legends. as legend goes, does everyone agree that I mean, for, for a different scale and everything, are you really going to try and do a whole new run in legend scale? No. I think with the with the city bots, people are absolutely do like that's why these things are so popular is because okay, of those Hasbro I, I Titans because, because of the yeah, Titans. I, agree. Um, yeah. I, I I get that. Okay. Um, 
got me there. And the smaller scale yep. is safer. Yep. I mean, it's just safer to do. And when the Earthrise ones comes out, it's a completely different scale. So it's not like you're going to get rid of them. They still fit with your Titan. Yeah, but the, 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 my point is, is that someone's going to come along and take the same scale and make a more articulated, more uh, detailed, whatever. Well, uh, I, you know that's going to happen. But but that's the same thing with uh, like a TV. You're not still sitting around with your like 1980s, you know, tube well, television because you're hey, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Because, you because, because, you're, because you're like, hey, you know, like somebody, there's no reason to buy a new one be, yet, you know, or buy the next available one because there's going to be a better one like three months or six months down the line, you know, like, of, of course, you know. Yeah, I mean, at this point, like at this point, especially with like the cone heads, you're gonna make, uh, you know, like I don't, I don't view them as as essential as say like the 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 main three seekers. So people are just kind of kind of well, these these are available. Let's just grab these, and you know that's that. I, I agree with you to some extent, but I can tell you that when it comes to the third party market, it's a lot quicker than even televisions, like you just made. Yeah. But the, but the, I will say Magic Square has their hand in this cookie jar, and people like this cookie jar that they have. I get that. This is kind of like – They're not going to come out with a plus or a, a, a point two or point five, whatever. You know, that's the problem with the, the third-party companies. They don't – Yeah, I mean, honestly, that's what Hasbro does too. I mean, how many Masterpiece um, star screens have we had? You know, they're, they're going to re-up it. Yeah. <laughs> My problem is the price. These things, these things are fifty bucks a piece, and that's just too much for something so small. Uh, I, I, but I love it. How many? Like you think? How many masterpiece star screens have we had? Dakota two. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> but, but it's the first. Let me sling that. Uh, let me get my calculator out here and yep. add up these figures. <laughs> you uh, paid one hundred eighty dollars for one. Why would you want to do it again? Fifty dollars a piece is a little. A little easier on the budget, but still. Well, again, like it's it's a legend scale thing, and I think as long as at that scale they do the they do the job they need to do, like there's gonna there's not gonna be a point in re-upping. And you said um, that, but, and that's see way, that's the thing, man. If I was if I was in if if I was into if I wasn't so married to the chug scale, I would have been had crazy battle scene city with yeah. the Titan class and the legend scale stuff. But I'm just I'm I'm too sold on chug to, to really turn back and, and redo and, my displays. And, I, and I'm one of these yeah. guys that, that, that we're showing this um, legend scale for beast wars. Dude, transform I'm element. Uh, this is yeah, a cool prototype. Yeah. yeah, man. Uh, transform Josh, elements knocking Josh, this out. Yeah. Josh Wolf Great. makes a, a good point. So you guys that got the Unicron, uh, you might be looking at a lot of those season, you know, one, two and three, like the little legend stuff to where you mm -hmm. can kind of position it. Uh, like a little flight stand. I don't know if it, you probably have holes to plug stuff into Unicron and just have them all flying around the yep. Unicron if you wanted Absolutely. to. Absolutely. That's, that's not a bad point. That's why I bought them back like five years ago. Cup and RC and Blur and hey, Galvatron. Because you knew that Unicron was coming, right? Like, I knew it was coming. Say, yeah. what we're looking at right now. You know <laughs> Rick it's can play. see the future. I remember, I remember right. sitting at BotCon playing with those on the table. They've been out that long yeah. ago. Even though you're looking at a legend, the the Scorponok that we just saw, it it's still the first reincarnation of a character we've had in what twenty years. Twenty years. Yeah. So, absolutely, that's going to work. On yeah. top of that, that legends, that legends, that that legends, that, that legends size Beast Wars stuff yeah, scales perfectly with a masterpiece G one collection. Absolutely, that's that's and right. I think it's that's yeah. Park every time, I think that's I think that's the big draw to the transform yeah, element is, stuff. And and they're every single one that they've done <clears throat> in Beast Wars has been a sellout. Every one. and well and well detailed and sure, just they're, they're just great figures. They All are right, real, it's, quick, it's, it's real, quick, hey, awesome. real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. All right, this is DNA designs. That way I can start scrolling through these and then you can talk about whatever you want. <laughs> these, those are for when, when I get to it, when I get to a new tab, let me call what it is and then we can just keep the conversation rolling. Okay. But so yeah, this is, yeah. So this is right, for three so, figures. But, Let's go ahead. Is this, this is for, for three the, figures? The yeah, this is, this is for uh, Sentinel Prime. Uh, it also has the thrusters or launchers for Bumblebee. And. As you can see there on the back of him there, bark bark, and then for oh, the lights for uh, blackout. blackout, yeah. 
His blades that's are so killer. small. These are, these are for the movie series, right? The studio yeah, series. Yeah, studio yeah. series. Like studio series. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to pick up the studio series Ironhide and the upgrade kits that because DNA did upgrade for the studio series and the MP, yeah. and like they both just make the both figures like shine. I always love movie Ironhide. Man, he was uh, was sold out. He talked out. to, he, you know, he. I thought he was badass. Uh, Manny the dentist wants to know, do you guys recommend the rat trap? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Love it. It's, it's a great figure. Like what's crazy, you know, like they don't do, uh, they, they don't come with uh, instructions to transform it. It's one of those just like figure it out. Yeah. But you, uh, sort of things, but it's, it's easy enough to do. I put a review up for what it's yeah. worth. Um, it's true. Just look for Dakota's review. It's good. But, um, the, the shockwave the, lab. Go if ahead. you look at it, I mean, the size and everything and, and uh, all the articulation is so much better. Yeah, it's a good – It uh, like I said before, all of theirs have been knocked out of the park. How does that rat trap scale with the deluxe rat trap that came out from Oh, he's, he's way small. Uh, he's he's smaller than the original basic class. Oh, no, I'm saying that – oh, really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. I want that Nemesis prom so bad. You're going to get uh, your – Smokestacks and little glow in the dark or, or light up chest thing. If I can get a hold of a Nemesis Prime, I might. <laughs> hey, Sport. Yeah. So there is Deluxe. Is he, was he a Deluxe? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, oh wow. Transform. Uh, He's extremely small. He is. Wow. I didn't realize he was that small, though. But yeah. he has more articulation than the so looks. good looking. He is so good looking. All right, Rick. This is for you. Your three and three quarter inch for you and uh, yeah. uh, vintage collection. Dakota. And myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Need that little gonk, gonk, Roy. He's in the Mandalorian, too, sort of. So, gonk. Is that an exclusive somewhere? Oh, was it? oh whoa. Oh, man. I got, I got so excited there for a minute thinking that you were about to show IG-11. But it's just <laughs> K2SO, which I'm still kind of excited about K2SO because, yeah. like, I really liked him in Rogue One. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And then you're getting uh, Commander Wolf, which I've already yep. got for my six inch. So nice. Yeah. Need those. Need so all those. There's, there's your three and three quarter inch. Now to. Oh, wait. Sorry. My Star Wars on the next one. Uh, they're doing a Groot. Pack Evolution, uh, evolution of Groot. <laughs> Wasn't that a Toys R Us exclusive years ago? Yeah, it was. I, was I thought it was a build. I thought it was a build a figure. Even the box was, was the there, was, there was another one that was like a Toys yeah, R Us. Yeah, it's Tim, and then with these. So, mm-hmm. uh, I thought this was out already, but it is. I think. They might be doing another one though, you know. That, yeah, then that's like, what it must. Yeah. That's what it must be. Is they're doing another one and coming out? I think it again. is another one. Yeah. All right, so we have uh, some exclusives here, which I mean, there's, there's, you know, what the wait, what, what, what? <laughs> okay, d- don't say anything, Rick. Uh, Dakota, do you know what is wrong with? Uh, these figures. <laughs> uh, they aren't three and three quarter inch scale. I know. The, okay. Yeah. The um, names. Talking about the names? Yeah. Yeah. Zuckus. This this is four loam and this is Zuckus. Is that something that they messed up on like back in the day? Rick? Yeah, but yeah, is that like so. an homage to that? Argued back I think it before. is. And I think the color palette on at least one of these, I thought I read the color palettes changed just slightly. Probably for Forlum because uh, yeah, yeah I think it's Forlum. Forlum. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and this is also Dakota's favorite character, so uh, yeah, Forlum. Yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll probably buy him because uh, this guy was a GameStop exclusive. Rick, no, 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 they, no. He was a. Uh, I thought he was Hasbro. a Disney store. Yeah, Disney store exclusive, and then GameStop actually ended up getting yeah. him a few months later. Uh, he was Rick. Did they ever football. make vintage yeah. collection uh, Forlum? I'm sure they did. I don't have them all. I'll have it. I'll yeah. know soon enough because I bought that book. They made a vintage. Uh, Daryl Dupree made this uh, vintage collection book on uh-huh. Kickstarter. It's going to have everything up until like recently, like the Mandalorian mm-hmm. stuff. I think is in it. 
So I finally nice. have like a guy, an easy way to look that stuff up. Right. But yeah, I don't have all of them. I missed a few, like 2010, around that time when they were doing some of these, I missed some. I know they re-released the Boba recently, but man, I just don't like that yeah. mold. I wish they would have. I wish they would have yeah. kind of gone in and done some re-engineering to it. Me too, because they could now. They could do something. Yeah, especially like with how well they they did Mando. Man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so oh, you have to get them as a two pack. Come on, man! Y'all didn't make any changes to Zuckus. Uh, or you know what? This cloth looks different. The uh, yeah, other I bet one, they did. I bet I bet there's some slight that's lighter. The the other one is like darker, and more shiny. Yeah, cloth. that's what I thought too. So they they are different. Okay, well then I guess I don't mind. They got you covered. They're not going to cash grab you without changing something. Oh, they 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 do do it. <laughs> I was looking at that Leia today and I'm like, uh, you know, yep. I'm like, this is the exact same one that was an exclusive, you know, with the, the Han, you know, yep. not too long ago that I already mine, have. Mine came in yesterday. I haven't opened them. I'm keeping all those carded, but I did notice that. Uh, this is exclusive Amazon and uh, has, uh, was it, has broke. Pulse or whatever. Uh, this is actually just fifteen dollars. But remember, I'm glad to get this because originally yep. the only way you could get this was the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Boba Fett. Yep. How's the articulation on that thing? Fifteen bucks for a block of plastic. <laughs> <I know. laughs> hey, hey, hey! But not not just the block. You actually get the. Can you actually open it up? Uh. Stick, I stick your six inch Han Solo in there. The, I've only seen the cool. picture from the front. I don't know. Is it just the same piece of plastic that can, I can't remember? I don't remember seeing a picture of the other side. I, I don't think. I don't know. Think you could. You could open it. Uh, I. I haven't seen any pictures though. But I do like that you get this, so you, you could yeah. have mm, Boba yeah. Fett, you know, next to it and floating them, and that means that your next. Uh, Whatever your Kickstarter Hasbro thing is, Slave One six inch. There you go. Yeah. Oh man, it needs to be. I I want to I want a Razor's Crest so bad. Yeah, me too. Uh, Darth Vader carbonized version, and of this, course. this this looks stupid. I, but no, uh, do, okay. I, do I have it on pre order? Yes, I do. Do I still think it looks stupid? Yes, I do. All of the carbonized yeah. stuff is a cash grab. Like, it's it's silly. I think it's silly. And maybe it's yeah. because I'm not like hard into Star Wars like you guys are. But I'm not doing this one. I got my limits. Yeah, I mean, I, I, really? I thought Mando was silly. I thought Boba was silly. I like, I didn't get this the stormtrooper that came out like whenever the movie came out, like that first door, whatever it was. The jet trooper. I didn't get, yeah, I didn't get the jet trooper either. I got him. I just made him the leader of my other jet troopers. So. Well, at least that makes sense. <laughs> You're gonna make this, this the leader Vader. of your Vader, your Vader <laughs> Legion, <laughs> your it, Legion it, of Vader. Yeah, it's it's gonna be my uh, spirit Vader. Yeah. I guess. Your hologram. Blue. Yeah, because like, why is he blue? You know, like whenever you are like, hey, he's carbonized. Uh, what the, do we want to do? Metallic paint, like we've done the rest of. Them? No, just make him blue. It's the Super NES uh, boss fight Vader. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> there we go. I like that. All right. So uh, we have some more. Uh, more? More. Six inch stuff. Mm, that looks cool. So getting us another clone yeah, here. The Camino. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So we're going to get about three of these. Uh, Kurt says, are they going to make the Slave One change its name since they gave Slave Leia an axe on her name? I don't. I think the sl the whole thing with the Slave Leia, uh, I think that people – it's some soccer mom went through there. Remember back in the day, like some soccer mom went in there and was like, was my like – little boy and girl got to look at me and be like, mom, why's that girl got no clothes on and stuff like and that? Why, why do they call her slave Leia? Oh, yeah, you thought my Karen said that. Yeah. 
It, Mike, wasn't that always like a nickname where like Slave One is the actual name of the vehicle? That yeah, was, Slave right? One is the as the name of as the actual name of the ship because it's that's just what it's called. Yeah. Um, but like Slave Leia was was a nickname where it was like Leia as a slave because let's face it, she was Jabba's slave. Yes. Chain and everything. No, the you chain can't, around you, her neck. <laughs> you can't church that up into 2020 word standards. It's just that's just what it was. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah, but Slave Leia history. is the ship. They've they've also what haven't they reissued uh Slave One for like vintage collection and two and they, I mean that stayed they Slave did. One. So I mean and then also you gotta think because anything that would be done in the what 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 is the Hasbro Kickstarter thing called again? Haslab. Has, or, uh, Haslab. 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 So you gotta think that it's good it would be a Haslab thing, so that's not something that's gonna be there for uh, regular retail, so you're not gonna have yeah. soccer moms getting all offended and stuff by something saying "slave one" on it. it. It's only us nerds that are gonna know about it. So, hopefully, I'm glad they're redoing this with better articulation because he was early in the line. This guy, and people want to troop build a better trooper. Plus, I think I only got like maybe three of them back then when these first. I would argue out. a trooper doesn't really need to have a ton of articulation because, yeah. like, yeah, most of the times with, they were like standing at attention. That's true, but now, like, they're a little more, especially like in the Mandalorian and stuff, like they're getting, doing a little more action again. Like, I enjoyed that mm-hmm. scene. You know which scene I'm talking about with all the troopers coming out of the oh, yeah. Imperial transport oh. and stuff. I thought you were talking about punching the kid in the head. (laughs) That's Mike's favorite scene. (laughs) Bam, bam, bam. When when are we getting the, uh, is it Giancarlo uh, Espinoza, that guy? I wish. I know. We need him stat. Oh, Gus from uh, Breaking Bad? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, dude. His little fried chicken hut. That was a, yeah. that was a good show, man. Uh, what was it, Lo- Los Pollos uh, Hermanos? Yeah, Hermanos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love uh, that. Th- now th- this is kind of cool, but and this is again why I was saying like, yo, why would you pay twenty dollars for that one Yoda that you've already got just because you got a little bit better face improvements when you're gonna get it right here again? Because of the card art. Mm. Yeah, but uh, uh, but if you're taking it out of the card and throwing it away. But you don't get the snake and the uh, yeah, you don't get the little snake with it. We're trying. <laughs> you guys yeah. took him in the probe droid. Oh, he's got two heads, the Yoda. Because oh, look, there's uh open eyes and closed eyes. Mm-hmm. Concentrate. That's cool. Hey, what's up, Kevar? Where's That's my little true. I want where are my little where are my little rocks? I don't want real rocks. I want Hasbro rocks. Where are my yeah. rocks? Well, I, your I want my little my little mud dio, my little Dagobah dio. Where is that? Does he come with a uh, the little chocolate bar, or piece of sausage that he like just grabs out of Luke's <laughs> bag and starts eating? Oh, yeah. Or the flashlight? Yeah, that's why I like hot toys, man. I got a base for my Yoda. I mean, he's got like the log, the mud, everything. Bro, I can't wait for my one one uh, baby Yoda to to ship. Yeah. Bro. Hey, uh, are are any of you getting this helmet? I, I haven't decided whether I'm getting this one or not. I just saw a picture of it yesterday, so I don't. I haven't thought about it. I'm getting the the other one, but I don't know about this one. I cool. would, but man, my beard would show through the bottom of it. So that would you be don't a great want, you don't face shield. Wearing it all the time, you don't have to. It, wear it. Can. It, it's not a COVID <laughs> mask, Dakota. You can now. You can, yeah, but but I, you know. I would like footage of Dakota walking around in that though. <laughs> Just if they like if they week. do a if they do a Mando mask uh helmet I'll I'll get that I'll just <laughs> I'll go grocery shopping in it. Just, <laughs> sorry, I'm social distancing. This is the thank you. Yeah. You, you. You know, I'll probably pass on this one because they probably will come out with the Mando mask as well. And I'm already getting short on space for helmets. I got to start figuring something else out. So, Dakota, you're gonna have to get an upgrade kit so you can smoke with the helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> just drill a little hole. Oh, just yeah. drill a little hole in the front. <laughs> or when he sticks his thread in it, just dude, <laughs> dude, I saw a, a picture where it had someone had made like a this full mask 
contraption, but had cutouts for the eyes and cutouts for at the mouth, and then he was smoking a cigarette. It was like you have a hole in the mouth, like you're eliminating the whole reason of wearing the mask <laughs> so you can smoke. I was like, this is the, the Dakota mask right here. <laughs> or no, what I'll do, you know, you know those like those like Cruella Deville sticks that she stuck the cigarettes in. Yeah, yeah them long. I'll just I'll just do that, and I'll have it to where it, like it it's just it's just coming out the bottom. <laughs> I, gotta imagine, I gotta imagine that they have those things just lined up right next to the lighters at every Louisiana gas station. Oh yeah, <laughs> that that's a thing, man. Adam, they're hard to they're hard to find. What was that? Wet wipes or butt wipes, whatever it was used for kids. It had a little thing that popped open. So he made the mask out of that. So he popped it open. You could smoke <laughs> a cigarette, stick that back up, and you're good to go. I mean, that's that's what you need right there. Yeah, uh, you got another vintage collection yeah. here, Rick. Oh, <laughs> uh, you got oh. another loop, but yeah. not. It's and the only different, the only difference yeah. is the hair is not slicked back because I think the Target one they did a big one, didn't they? Like a six inch for the yeah. We have got. They originally came out with uh, dry hair for Han and Luke, and then Target mm-hmm. got an exclusive with slick hair. Yeah, it's like actually <laughs> in the trash, trash compactor. I'm like, dude, this scene was like. 10 minutes and like you're giving me two yeah. figures of it like <laughs> yeah but look at this i mean the head sculpt doesn't look good on this one in my yeah, three and three quarter so I, I, would, I would say the slick back hair probably looks better I, i'd be willing to bet it does i remind them more with the slick hair than i do with the the dry hair so. exactly yeah. in that scene yes yeah yeah all right so neca two pack finally get the kc <laughs> And uh, non-removable mask because they didn't get the rights to uh, yeah. what's his oh. face name. Oh. Uh, but Raph and Trenchcoat, bro, you get uh, reveals himself Raph uh, yeah. right there, <laughs> dude. I, I like that that uh, Casey came with like like all the weapons here. You get the golf club, hockey sticks, goalie, cricket, the baseball bat. It's a whole thing can say go bet. Don't feel me. And then uh, Metalhead's going to be a deluxe. A dirty vacuum even come to the vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Just, you got to be careful when you get them out of the package, guys. Otherwise, they might, uh, you know, uh, what, what's that? Uh, what was that old gold transformer, Dakota, that you bought? Which one? Oh, oh Randy? GPS. Randy. It doesn't yeah, matter. Ne- yeah. So if you guys that are in the Transformers, but you're not aware of NECA, you're looking at this and you're like, "Oh, I like, I like Ninja Turtles." And hey, NECA, it looks like they did a pretty good job. You got to handle it like a Randy, though. Well, I was everything at, are all the eyes different? Do they have different eyes for that? Uh, looks like the same eyes. Everything right. NECA it's makes messing me up is very brittle, prone to exploding, crumbling. Really? Yeah, dude, NECA the makes a he's GPS, huh? NECA makes the poorest quality product that they can possibly make. They just paint it up really nice. Yeah, I, that's where they use all their money is the, the paint. Yeah, that's their plastic, like, yeah, their, their plastic is made with like a weird, like, earthy dirt compound. <laughs> <laughs> and they just paint it up really nice. NECA is like. Whenever you hear the phrase "if you polish a turd," that's what NECA does. I, I love it though how like they do have like a a big fan following, but like they all praise. They're like a cult. Like they like praise them, and then NECA like retweets every single one of them. But if you say anything bad about NECA, block. they block you. Like they blocked me. They 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 still haven't blocked me, but I don't, I don't really go after them that much. Dude, I didn't go after him a lot. I went after him once. I was like, well, "Yeah, that's." I was like, "Yeah, that's 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 really cool," but uh, you know, it's just gonna explode and break and be worthless. You know, as soon as you look at it the wrong way, instantly blocked. Like they let they let their legion of of uh, <laughs> what's the God? What what uh, what's what's the what's the name I'm looking for? 
uh, that are a cult. Their like, legion of stands. Their legion of stands. They they let their legion of stands come after me, <laughs> and then they block me. I was like, all right, whatever, guys. Like, enjoy your broken figures. All right, Super <laughs> Seven though. Uh, they've actually toxic. Actually, pretty good. Pretty good quality. Um, oh yeah. And uh, this is a Entertainment Earth exclusive where it glows in the dark. Boo. You just don't legend uh, has it. Legend has it this was supposed to be a SDCC thing. Don't know how true that is, but uh, what's what's SDCC? Exactly. Cancel. Not in 2020. That's what it is. <laughs> hey. Like man, that's some some nice glow in the dark right it's there. It's a good glow effect, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, how long have y'all been having a light just beaming on this sucker? Like, <laughs> 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 Looking out in the sun all day. <laughs> sit under the light. He's radioactive. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> you have nothing better to do. So. Like, like, back like, into like, it, you get skin like, cancer immediately. Super Seven. They yeah. just ship their entire palette of these guys to Chernobyl. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, it is Toxic Avengers, so it's fitting. <laughs> there you go. All right, and Tomashi Nations, uh, the six inch. This is going to give you a uh, 2012 in game cap. I just, I, their their faces or something like their eyes. It looks like he's fading away in his eyes or something. They all look. Yeah, at me. looking at the outcome. Just, I like how I like how they immediately go with the uh, the America's ass shot, yet they yeah, refrain was, from sculpting yeah. his ass like as as well as it should be. Flat. Yeah, they were going for the Captain Marvel look. Yeah. No, I'm going. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> they use the Captain well, Marvel sculpt. They use the they use the America. They use the flatten the curve. Flat. <laughs> they use that. They use that Brie Larson buck from the waist <laughs> yeah. down. <laughs> I'm glad someone else got that. I mean, at least someone got it. Yeah, it, and twice. There you go. Three times. That's not America's hey, ass. Look at how flat that at, ass is. He's staring I at told it. you why. Close the eyes. Corona. Got to flatten the curve. <laughs> All right. Man, they need to work on that. They need to work on that butt sculpt. We can't hey, say that, that word apparently. Looks good. We Come back when else. when you give Cap a dump truck ass. <laughs> After the fifty one day, uh, you know, stay at home. Let's see what his ass looks like then, right? <laughs> oh, please stop say that. You're, you're gonna get me. Yeah, you can't say the Everyone c word. Else said that. I can't say the word. You, you can't. We didn't say the word. You can't, you can't cuss at all on new YouTube. So you have to say butt talks. New YouTube. <laughs> booty. Yeah, <laughs> booty. Or badonk. You know. Badonk a donk. But I'm sorry, but this face sculpt looks good for Loki. What you like this like fifty shades of Loki type thing going no, on? 50 that. Shades of Loki. <laughs> <laughs> it's you on Netflix, yeah. <laughs> Coming to Netflix near you. Uh, if we stay inside, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, of Loki. yeah, they did a they did a good job on Hiddleston's face. I think not that one so much. Yeah, I'm gonna say that smile, boy. <laughs> that one looks. Yeah. He'd make a good yeah. Joker, man. I think he'd yeah. make a good Joker. Helter Skelter. Gosh. Helter Skelter. Am I allowed to say that? I'm sorry. That grin. That was more like the. Uh, that was yeah. bad. Yeah. Uh, play player undergrounds battlegrounds. Player unknown battleground or player unknowns battleground. <laughs> uh, six inch line. Uh, uh, you play this game or something? What? It, what is this? I think it's. Uh, I think that like that was the original. Like you know how like Call of Duty has Warzone now, right? Yeah. Like the big free for all. I think that is what PUBG. Like I think they started that. Um, I never played it because I never really oh. liked the concept of it. But where yeah, everyone just drops Royale. in. Yeah, yeah, big battle royale. I think they were the first one that did the big battle royale style gaming. Uh, Dude, I, people like I, just drop in and start picking stuff up, and then the thing yeah. closes in on them. I tried doing the war zone one a little bit, and like I, I won a few times and placed pretty high, but I, I, I could not get into it. Like it just, I don't like battle royale, man. I like team shooters. So yeah, like just just line it up six v six, and and don't. 
I, that's why I can't play the new Call of Duties either. And they're like, what? I got to open open and close doors now. And now there's like 50 buildings with like three levels and stuff. I'm like, what happened now? Oh, we're just give me three lane if, pathways. If it's if it's a big team game type, I think that's perfect. I love big team game types. But like I, I've gone back to playing Destiny uh, within the last week or so. And like I just manage that that simple 6v6 like. I mean, yeah, dude, I'm about it. Uh, I'm actually uh, downloading Battlefront 2 again. I'm going to play some Battlefront 2 tomorrow with my buddy that he's he's played some, but I'm like, don't worry, man. I can I can carry. So they got some new maps download. They got a Scarif map downloaded uh, or uh, added to Battlefront 2. Josh Wolf li- likes to play open world <clears throat> games. I-, I like some open like uh, are you th- like story games? Like I like God of War, you know, Uncharted, and you know, Bioshock and uh, Tomb Raider. I-, I don't know if you consider those open world like you would a Grand Theft Auto. Uh, the new stuff that Destiny uh, is doing now is very. I mean, like, it, it takes that open world aspect, but also gives it a story. And, like, they're going, they're definitely going more story heavy with some of this new stuff and some of their plans for the future. For some reason, I just I couldn't get into Destiny. I did bought Destiny 1, I bought, got the 2, and then I just, I just never could. It's, dude, play. Destiny is a game, like, you really, you really got to play with a group of people. But, um, like, you definitely need at least like you and five others. If you want to like really have fun with it, split off into two different fire teams, come together, do the raid and stuff like that every week, you know, and like with those say like any more and it's, and it's a crowd and someone's getting excluded and, you know, but any less, you can't get like some of the sweet in game content, you know, a lot of the there's, guys, there's ups and downs the plan, they, they've got into siege six rainbow six siege. Oh Yeah all tactical stuff i'm like man this looks like they're like they keep on telling me to get it i'm like i don't know i'll watch some of y'all streams and y'all just sit in the same spot for five ten minutes this was boring because the way i play is like I, dude i'm holding down my run button i'm running and get yeah it. <clears throat> all right here, here you go dakota so this is mafex six inch line and you know so you got the hot toys you got you know black series and uh Hey, maybe you're a little bit more interested in this because look, you got the you know cloth cape. Look, you know. If I was if I was into the into the one twelfth scale stuff, I I would still just opt for the black series. Like I like the fact that his cape is soft goods, and honestly, the black series and the vintage collection should have been a soft goods cape. Uh, but I don't think it's enough to to really spend Mafex money on it, opposed to the twenty dollars of the vintage collection. You know. Yeah, because yeah, uh, does it say how much this one's going to be? Well, they're usually around like probably like, going to be like sixty bucks or something like that. I thought they were like eighty. I thought they were definitely closer to eighty. Could could be considering you get the child and the uh, other accessories as well. Yeah. So, like I said, man, if I was into six inch, it would have been something else. Uh, me thanks. I like that. I like the Age of Apocalypse Magneto. Not gonna lie. I don't. I don't like the long hair like that. I, I saw. Dude, I of saw this a few weeks ago. He needs to cut his and hair. I, I like this as Mag. I like the long hair <clears throat> Magneto. Dude, I, I'd, I, I'd, I'd go in there like Samson's wife and cut his hair off. This like, this, like this looked it. good to me too because like that wave is just getting ready to hit or it's just starting to get out there, and this would go with that wave really nicely. Yeah, man, that looks good. The Legends wave. And I like that he's got the different heads, and the, the one with the black all over it matches the comic book. Yeah, dude. Soft goods cape. Looks like it's got maybe bendable wire there. Yeah, it yeah. looks like it's probably got a wire running through it, if I had to guess. Yeah. And that's also an, an awesome thing that they do. Dude, that's that's the way I want all capes. Like, give me that bendable wire so I can pose it like I want, you know? Yep. All 
All right, this one is for you, Dakota. Your one six scale assassin. Oh, Creed. this is man, I got so toys. excited for a minute. Like, so okay, um, who who was it? Uh, Jazzwares. They yeah. they did some Assassin's Creed stuff, and they teased Bayek. And I really like Bayek as a character. I love playing Origins, man. And and Bayek, like, he just looks so awesome, you know. And it's in that like Egyptian time and and all that, like. So, dude, for a minute, I was like, I was like, oh, dude, finally, I get a Bayek figure. But man, it's one six scale. I can't do it. I just don't have the don't have the room for it. I bought the uh, when they went on sale on PlayStation. So the Origins, when it's the I don't know gold pack or something, where it's the one hundred thirty dollar version of with the game. with the extra DLCs and stuff like that. Yeah, all the DLCs and like extra extra legendary stuff. So I bought that for Origins, like, but it was down to like thirty dollars or something like that. So yeah. I bought that again. Well, they just recently had a sell on the uh, Gladiator one, Odyssey. And- yeah, and I bought Bro, that. Bought that for worth $30. it. Worth it. Like, and especially played playing, that. playing the DLC for Odyssey. Like, you'll learn how it ties into Origins after you play Legacy of the Hidden Blade. I haven't even finished. And- <laughs> Bro, like, there's so much to do in both those games. Like, at full price, they were 100 percent worth the cost because of how much stuff there was to do. Um, but like, like if, if you're getting them on, on clearance, like 100, like do it and, and get the DLCs too. Like, you're not going to regret it. Yeah. It's, but it's anyways, cool. yeah, like 120, 130. And then I ended up getting it for like 30 bucks. So I was like, okay, you know, this is, yeah, man. But, but anyways, like Bayek, dude, I really like Bayek. I'm really bummed that Jazzwares didn't put it out. I know that Fortnite was a big thing for them. I'm hoping that like their company, wicked cool toys, that's doing the halo stuff. I hope they can kind of squeeze in Assassin's Creed in there too, because um, they're doing both six inch and three and three quarter. Uh, Wicked Cool Toys is, but man, I really wanted I really wanted this in, in three and three quarter. But this this oh, looks good, man. The trailer for Vikings. Or yeah, Valhalla. dude, for Valhalla. Oh. When I watched it, I'm like sitting there, I'm like, dude, it looks like uh, the last. Was it the Last Kingdom? Is that the show on Netflix we were watching? It's Vikings. It, uh, it looks like like I'm looking at it and I'm like uh, like even one of the dudes. I'm like that looks like an old role. Looks just like looks just like Ragnar. Like yeah, there's Ragnar in there, and then the, like his yeah. brother. The other one looks like Rolo. I'm like, and, and like some even whenever it, the boats take off, I'm like that is the. <laughs> The, the city where the their little town, you know, like that's the exact same port in Vikings. Well, isn't Vikings isn't Vikings like historically, you know, uh, isn't there like some historical accuracy there? And like that's something that Assassin's Creed yeah. aims to like they they weave in and out of historical accuracies. So it's very possible that like you're playing as like those characters, or, or will interact with those characters mm. rather. Man, even uh, bird looks pretty good. Yeah. Can't remember what what they called the bird in, in Origins, but I know in, in Odyssey it was Icarus. I just call him bird. bird. Yeah, I just call him bird. Go bird. Oh, okay. bird. And for Rick, it's got the puncher. Oh, yeah, that's the one that good. that's the one that punches babies. Oh, Mike, <laughs> <laughs> puncher, <laughs> child abuser. <laughs> Yeah, I notice if you get like the one with the speeder, you get like the little baby in the bag. <laughs> oh, you're, so so the baby in the bag only comes with the the speeder bike. I I don't know. I haven't pre-ordered them yet. I'm gonna get one of them, but I don't know which one. Get Dude, after after watching like this episode of Mando, like seeing that little bitty baby pistol he has, I'm like, no wonder they missed stuff. They're like, you oh, put yeah, sights on that with, thing to save your life. Uh, they mount that on no matter what. See it on their ankle. ankle. Yeah, they got to reach all the way down to their ankle. Yeah, <laughs> your big boy scout troopers—they have a hard time just getting to their baby gun down there on the ankle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they struggle. Ricky, yeah, see the little. There's your little bag with the little baby. I should call him. Ready to punch him? Asset. Ricky, are you caught up on Harley Quinn? No, I only watched the first episode. I haven't. I never dug into it, dude. Like, 
<laughs> I'll tell you some stuff later. Oh, there's there's the child. <laughs> he's peeking. He's peeking out. Let me out. He's going to beat me. Yeah, I don't know if I want to take up the space for that, you know, white Mando speeder or whatever. I, I yeah. doubt it. Do Do you have a brown one already? No. See, I decided not to. Like, of all the, I got to make decisions. And obviously, I'm like Ecto one over speeder bike, you know, and Batmobile over speeder bike. I tell you what, if you want to sell me your Batmobile, and then that'll be <laughs> right. <laughs> and I've then got that, a friend. And when. A friend of mine here actually bought this and he was telling me that um his son had some kids over and they um they broke this. Oh yeah, it's it's pretty fragile. Or the one that the one before this, like the regular one. Well, I bet he put them in a bag and beetle. It, it's a it's a big um <laughs> it's a big space sucker, this this thing. So you're you're dropping off your kids, uh, friends, and have <laughs> till just like he black eyes. Stairs. He fell down the stairs. All of them. But all at once. He's, she's got like, Daddy, I got cracked ribs. <laughs> they were too rambunctious on the trampoline. Yeah. You don't know the trampoline. Look at him, Dakota. You don't need that. Look at him having fun. Yeah, I'm what, getting what, the one one scale, man. Yeah. <laughs> what, if, what if you got the IG11 uh, on the speeder bike with him? Look, look how much fun. Uh, yeah, that's that's the way to display it if you're gonna do it. I'm just gonna put the one one scale in the passenger seat in the car whenever well, I get it. Ho hopefully, you know the carpool lane. Black yeah. series. <laughs> I would definitely do the black series for this for sure. I'm going to give the one one scale some sunglasses and like a little cigarette, like a a bottle with like some brown paper bag wrapped around it. <laughs> Jack he's just, he's just, just need... gonna just gonna have him sitting in the passenger seat, like no seat belt on. <laughs> like... You need that size to do anything with it. I got the black series one in this week, and I mean to tell you, he is tiny, tiny. Yeah, man. Uh, the hot toys one, like that's. That's that's going to be a, a very well invested like the value on it's going to be non-existent because of all the stuff. Like, I'm going to I'm going to take that thing into bars like just do wild <laughs> wild wild stuff with it. His will be smelling funky in an hour. Yeah. Oh, one hundred percent. You're going to be it's just pure shenanigans. It's one of those weirdos, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like there, there's being a nerd, but then there's. Bringing your one one scale baby, you know, little the child to, to bars to with you. Bar. And just, I wouldn't well, like that's the thing. I don't know. Like, I mean, it, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be like. It wouldn't be like the idea. Wouldn't be like. Uh, well, which there's a nerd bar in town that would 100 percent net me a very good evening of bringing that in. Um, but like, just leaving it in the car. Just leaving it in the car with like sunglasses and you know, like a pack of smokes on him. You know. All right, well, let's go ahead and sign out almost. Uh, we got an hour and 40 minutes here, so uh, yeah, let's sign out. Mike, where can people find you, man? You can find me everywhere as Angry Mike. Hey, you can find me here on YouTube as Sportimus and on Facebook and Sportimus Prime and Instagram as Sportimus underscore Prime. <laughs> and you can I find forgot. me on Twitter and Instagram as Shattered Glass Jazz. Find me at Mega Must Mega Toy Fam on Facebook in quarantine with not Mike in the dishes rattling. Yeah, exactly. Bro, you can find me everywhere at Primal Sabbath, man. Like Mike, they, they always doing dishes at Mike's house. I'm telling you. It's all you can pay. <laughs> all right, and you can find me G1Xtra on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook page, the G1Xtra. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and we will talk to you in a couple weeks. Peace. Peace.